Hey guys, how are you today? So I wanted to show you a hat uh, that we got for Father's Day this year. Um, what would the Father do? WWFD. Instead of what would Jesus do? What would the Father do? We need to know what the Father would do in our lives. Anyway, so today I wanted to uh, I wanted to tell you God still speaks. God's voice can still be heard today. Um, the Lord put it on my heart yesterday, actually, yesterday morning, um, Sunday, uh, I guess this is going to date the video, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, God put it on my heart the other day that, uh, yesterday that, um, there's three simple steps to hearing the voice of the Lord and people need to learn these steps in today's day and age and get past the crap that we're finding online and there's so much stupid stuff out there nowadays, and so I wanted to give you these steps so that you guys can hear the voice of the Lord, so that you guys can hear from the Father Himself, through the Son, through the blood of the Lamb. Um, first step is, and it's probably the most important, uh, you have to put your will aside. You have to put what you want on the back burner. I know life is rough and I know things come and go constantly. But if you're not willing to put your life on the back burner, if you're not willing to, okay, Lord, what is your will for the day? Then um, then God's not, God's not going to be able to tell you what he wants. Or if he does, you're not going to be able to hear it because of the fact that you got your stuff. Your stuff is more important. You need to allow God to let him. You need to be in a place that God's stuff is more important. Um, step two is to shut up and listen. Get in a place, whatever your place is. Enter in the presence. Put a little bit of um, good mellow music on. Whatever whatever it is that you need to, to enter into a place where you're focused on the Father. And when you're focused on the Father, don't sit there and just puke all over Him. Just shut up and listen. When you shut up and listen, you'll start hearing things. And you'll be able to start pulling them out. Kind of like you would be picking up fruit off of a tree. The fruit's there. And God wants to give it to you. But you got to be in a place that you can hear. You can't, you can't just talk so much you can't hear anything. And you need to quiet your mind down. And then the third step, and this is a really another, another really important step. The third step is to verify the word. The Bible says that if um, to study to show thyself approved. If you're hearing something and... Um, you know, let's just say, oh, well, I heard to go kill somebody. Okay, well, is is that aligned with the Word of God? Look in the Scriptures. Verify it. You know, every time, you know, Jesus, when he went into the wilderness and he was tempted of the devil, every time the devil told him something, he verified it with the Word. No, that's not God. That's, that's Satan. I'm not doing that. So we have to verify it with the Word of God. And yes, I am talking about the quote-unquote 66 books of the Bible. I'm talking about the Torah. I'm talking about the writings. I'm talking about the prophets. I'm talking about the epistles. I'm talking about the gospels. If it's not in the Word, it's probably not God. Now, God's not only going to use the Word to talk to you. He will use different analogies. But... Because look at Jesus. Jesus talked in parables. Jesus talked in stories. That's what a parable is. It's a story. He wants, God wants us to be able to relate to what he's telling us so that we can actually do something with it. Um, it's so important to, to, one, know that God is still talking today. It is not done away with. That is a, that is a false teaching. God wants to be a part of your life. It is about walking with God in the cool of the day, just like he created Adam to do. Man over the last 6,000 years has screwed that up. 
and God is calling us to to come back into a place that we can we can be able to enjoy a relationship with him and be able to feel his presence around us all the time and be able to know what that is when i had this feeling yesterday i did the same thing i just kind of okay lord you know i um i know you want to do something with that so i i meditated on it i i i studied the scriptures I'm not going to pull out all the Bible verses. There's plenty of Bible verses to back this up. Um, do your due diligence. Get in the Word. Study His Word. Make it a part of your life to want to be in a relationship with the most holy spirit that there is, the Heavenly Father. Um, Jesus is the door to the Father. We need to remember that. Jesus is the way to the anointing. Jesus is not quote unquote God. Okay, he's just the hand of God. Now I'm not trying to belittle his position. Don't take it the wrong way. Jesus is King of Kings. He is Lord of Lords. He is the, the Lamb that was slain. Yes. But he is the door to the Father. We need to find the Father. We need to get to the Father. We need to see what the Father is doing. Moses was on the mountaintop with the Father. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short of a clip. But just remember, the Father wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to have a relationship with you. But also remember, the reason why he wants to have a relationship with you is because he wants you to be able to take him to others in the earth. He wants you to be the vessel that goes and is a, another door, a lesser door than Jesus, to others that don't have the opportunity or don't have understanding in what it means to have a relationship with the Father. Make your mark in somebody's life today. Much love, much blessings. Please, please don't take this for granted. Have a relationship with the Father. Know what it means to walk with Him and in His Spirit daily. And then take that to somebody else and be a door to somebody else. Point them to the Father so that so that we can build the earth up together, so that we can edify each other, and so that we can get out of this wickedness that's happening in the world today, this great darkness. Let's be lights. Let's make this world light up, be salt of the earth again. We'll see you soon.